hello hello i thought i'd pop on and wish you a happy friday and also come on live so that um you can connect with me if you want to but also it's quicker and easier than doing um than recording and uploading so what i wanted to talk to you about today is my dance journeys so you may or may not have heard that I've been running dance journeys since, actually since the beginning of our first lockdown. So that's almost exactly 12 months ago. And they are so powerful and I absolutely love them, which is why I'm going to be running more. In fact, I'm in the middle of one right now, the Dance of Creativity. And I thought I might, it might be useful for people to kind of understand, because I've had some questions and some people kind of dancing but like how's that how does that work and how can that help and what can it help with so i thought maybe this would be a good um a good time to explain so julie johnson from the success club and i use dance i'm a lifelong irish dancer and when i'm dancing i am simply being i'm not in my head i'm in my body i'm totally free creative confident simply loving life, living life, dancing joyfully. And I've discovered that that's a process that I use to get myself out of my head. Because when we are in our heads and we tend to overthink things, so that's where we get stuck, that's where we get uncertain, that's when we second guess ourselves, that's where we go round in circles. And very often when people are stuck or feel they want to make some changes, that's what that's where they go they go into their head to try to figure out what they need to do differently or how they need to be different now that's all well and good if those answers can come to you when you do that but if you're anything like me they don't they come when you create some space for things to bubble up in you to occur to you for you to connect into your heart and soul so dance Getting into your body is an ideal way for you to connect very quickly to heart and soul and to get you out of your thinking head, if you like. So that's what it does for me. And that's the process that I use to help do exactly the same for other people. So they dance journeys, which means that you are invited to dance every day if you want to. And for some people, that is simply what they want from the journey the pleasure and fun and the focus on themselves and simply dancing. And things occur to them, even if that's all they come for, to have a bit of fun and to dance, to get back into feeling lighter. But there are different levels that you can go to with this. So that all of my dance journeys, they're different lengths and they have a different focus. So as I say, this one is about creativity. I've done journeys on confidence, on potential, on leadership. And at the end, I'll maybe ask what you might want some support with and, and I can focus on focus on that. So the invitations are to dance, but also to explore different aspects of the particular topic that we're exploring and simply doing it through dance and then journaling or reflecting or mulling things over or just allowing it to come to you through dance is a completely different way for most of us. So we're not forcing, we're not pushing, we're not trying really hard, we're making it easy. And it actually can become easy if we allow it. But let's focus on a couple of other things first. So, so it's dancing. It's exploration of topics in a completely different way, using dance as the process to get you connected, to get you connected to your own heart and soul, your own inner wisdom, if you like, rather than kind of looking outside and thinking in your head. It's a group of women who come together. So they're generally reasonably small groups. I don't think any of the groups have been over 15. And that allows me to create a really lovely, safe online space where you can be yourself, where you can explore, where you can share what's coming up for you. Because I can guarantee stuff will occur, stuff will come up 
that may surprise you, that may shock you, that may upset you. There's a whole range of, of things that may simply be, wow, how has it taken me two seconds or one dance to get there when I've been thinking of this and trying to solve this problem for the last year or however long? Um, so it allows me to create that lovely safe space and it allows you as women to connect together. And I and there's power. I mean, I'm, I've been in... in women's groups small groups of women who only connect online a lot of these women i've not met in person and i wouldn't have said before lockdown the first one <laughs> that that it would be something that it would be a space where i would feel totally at ease and totally comfortable to be myself and to know these women much better than i know lots of other people in my life because we get so um personal and that's not a requirement but that's there as a support mechanism for you and it's also it's also great to get other people's perspectives to get other people's insights to to allow you to see that we all think about things differently we look at the world differently our experiences have been different so there's that and there's also the kind of taking the pressure off yourself and that's why it's a that's why I call it a journey, because there's no kind of you must be here to start and this is where you're going to end up. What I know for certain is you will travel, you will move forward, provided you engage, provided you dance and you engage with me at least and or with the group, then there will be movement and there will be insights. So it can kind of take the pressure off as well in the sense that you don't have to know everything and understand everything and solve everything in one go. What I'm helping you do is create the space in order that that can happen for you. And it's a sacred space. So dancing, exploration of a particular topic, working with another group of women, working online. That's kind of what it is. How it helps? Well, I've already said a few things, but obviously it can help. Um, it can help you understand yourself better. It can help you get out of your head and get connected so that you start when you say, I don't know, I don't know. Very often you do know, but we're not allowing ourselves that space and a little bit of time for that knowing to surface, for that knowing to kind of come to you if you like so you'll understand yourself better you'll have some fun because dancing when you allow yourself when you give permission to yourself to dance to enjoy the music it's fun and it can be playful and it creates that space it allows you to connect in it allows you to get clear it allows you to learn both from yourself but also from the other women in the group and from myself I, I call myself a guide because I'm there to guide you on your particular journey so the framework if you like is my invitation all of the invitations to dance and the invitations to explore different aspects of whatever the topic is and it simply allows you to be without the focus being so much on the doing and as if by magic what actually happens is that the doing starts to feel easier because we are being slightly different. So I could, as you can probably tell, I could go on for a very long time, um, but I'm gonna finish there and, and actually ask you a question or two. So if you do have any questions, if there's still things that you think, I'm not quite sure how that works or, or how it can actually help me or what, whether it will help me with this particular situation, then please ask, message me or comment, uh, you know, on this video. And the other thing is, because I'm going to be running more dance journeys and they're of different lengths, so they can be anywhere from three days up to a month or four weeks. But I'll be focusing on specific topics or specific areas that people feel that they'd like to explore. So if you have an area or topic, even if it's the one I've done before, because every single one is different, I can guarantee, even if some of the content is the same, the dynamics are different. And I actually create them for the people who are in the group anyway. So that's the difference. So any questions, please ask. 
and any particular topic I would love to know because I'd love to be providing these dance journeys, creating the space for you, letting you have some fun and exploring and understanding these aspects better if it's something that you really want. So that's me, Julie Johnson, signing off for now. Have a fab Friday and weekend. Bye. If I can finish. <laughs>